Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the supposed fifth album after the Viva La Vida. It's not the actual fifth album, but it was supposed to be the fifth album, The Wedding Album, which um, was the follow-up, obviously, to Everyday Life. It was supposed to be mostly an acoustic album, not really anything too big, so, except for, like, one song. But, yeah, that's what it was supposed to be. It's kind of, like, wedding album, wedding songs are, like, mostly acoustic, so, yeah. Um, so how I usually do these reviews is that I'm going to go over all the tracks, I'm going to rank all the tracks, and then there's no music videos in this, so there's no need to do that, and then rate the whole album at the end of it out of five. So I'm going to start off with Wedding Bells. Wedding Bells is this kind of acoustic and piano song. Uh, this was played, I think, at an Apple event in 2010. I think it's, it's a pretty nice song, not going to lie. I like the other version way, way better. But this one was still pretty good, too. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 to start off, so nice. Next up was Cartoon Heart. Cartoon Heart's the uh, the uh, accordion version of Charlie Brown, which I think it's pretty. It's a pretty nice listen. So, it sounds kind of like um. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. It's just the accordion version of Charlie Brown. Like this was heard in the documentary, um, in the Headful of Dreams documentary. You can kind of hear the song, uh. But here's the full thing. It's not really. I don't think it's the actual full thing. I think this one's a fan made track, which is, I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a four out of five, regardless if it's real or not. So. Yeah. Next up was Luna, the collaboration with Kylie Minogue. Um, this song was uh, gonna be on Viva. This was gonna be on Prospects March. This is gonna be on the wedding album. Instead, it just released it as a charity as a charity single, which I think you can still find it. I don't know if you can, but I think you can. But this song, I think it's really really cool. Uh, it's not really cool. It's very experimental. It's very very. Uh, I have very mixed feelings about this song. I'm gonna give it a three point two out of five. This is kind of I think this is the worst song on the album by far so far, and it is so. It's not bad, but it's just I have very mixed feelings about it. I just think it's something Coldplay would not do. So, yeah. Next up is gonna be Lo Love is a Lethal Dose or Love in a Lethal Dose. I don't know why I said is in that order. Love in a Lethal Dose. This is actually a pretty good song. This was worked on in two thousand ten. And then this song, the most recently worked on for this song was back in like 2021 from Music of the Spheres. Um, they call it Lethal Drug, but in this version it's called Love and a Lethal Dose. This is pretty nice, another acoustic song. This is not this is not the track with the hidden, this is not the one with the hidden track with it, so. Um, this is just like the three minute version of it. I think it's pretty, it's a, it's a pretty good song in my opinion. I'm going to give it a 3.7 out of 5, so yeah. Next up is UFO. UFO is literally on Milo Zaluto. Um, it's just this acoustic song about just having troubles and then having to find hope again. It's, I'm gonna give that a 4 out of 5. So far, it's the best song in the album, in my opinion, so, yeah, I, I like UFO. I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5. Next up is Don Quixote, or as other people know it as Spanish Rain. This was a demo worked on in 2008, which never really got, n never saw the light of day. It might see the light of day soon, just, I, I doubt it for now. It's just an acoustic song. All it really has is, is this kind of drum beat. And acoustic, like two acoustic guitars, I'm pretty sure, or three, I have no idea. That's all it really is. It's a nice kind of lively tune to it. I'm going to give it a 3.9 out of 5. It's it's a pretty nice listen, so, yeah. Next up is Fun with Natalie um, and Breglia. This was uh, also a Viva song. This was given to Natalie. This is literally the same thing. Just Chris's vocals were added onto it. The only thing that changed in the final version, which was released by Natalie, was the removal of Chris's vocals, so... Yeah, like, it's it's really easy to find, too. It's on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. Really just a wild breakup song, which is a nice... It, it gives you a kind of calm feeling as you listen to it, but at the same time, it just makes you feel kind of emotional with this, with the lyrics, the way they're talking about it. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. I love this for some reason. I love it so much. Uh, next up is Arabesque, with uh, the hidden track being The Ballad of St. John. The Ballad of St. John is literally just... Uh, uh, Banny Adam, which was released on Everyday Life. It's literally just a 40-second piano snippet of it. It's not the whole thing. And then Arabesque, it starts off with the... It's the Olive Tree version of it, which that was worked on back in 2008, I'm pretty sure, because I remember hearing this back in, like, the Everyday Life days. Chris revealed that he was kicked out of the band, I'm pretty sure. And when he came back, there was his little riff, and that was the Arabesque riff. But the whole Olive Tree part was worked on during the wedding album. The whole... Uh, a regular arabesque riff was worked on on Viva. They combined the two, and yeah, that happened there. Um, this song is freaking awesome, by the way. <laughs> the Valley of Saint John. I'm not gonna give it anything because it's not it's not really a full song. Uh, but arabesque, damn, it was it's just a crazy song. I don't know what it really what the main topic of the song is, but I it just I just love it. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It's my favorite off the album. Yeah. Next up is famous old painters, not the everyday life version, like I'm saying. 
This was the old Viva La Vida demo once again. Back in 2006, they made this. It leaked in 2009, and the actual version leaked uh, this year. Um, this is a this is just pretty nice. I just I always wondered what Famous Old Painters would sound like uh, with actual uh, lyrics to it, and this is what we found. So. I, I like it. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I always like the instrumental of it. With lyrics, it sounds a lot better, in my opinion. 4 out of 5. Next up is Goodbye and Goodnight. This is a nice little piano tune. It just... It's a nice... Cl it's the closer, actually, off the album. It's... It's really nice. It's a really nice to listen to, in my opinion. I'm going to give it... A, I haven't heard it in a long time, but I just know it sounds really good. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I, li I like it. I like it. And the bonus track for this album was Christmas Life, which was, ev which was eventually released um, in 2010. Uh, the same year the wedding album was supposed to come out. Um, Christmas Life was released in 2010. It's a really sick Christmas song. Um, yeah, this is Christmas Lights was literally what the whole wedding album was supposed to look to sound like. So if you want, you can just listen to Christmas Lights and just you can kind of get a feeling on what this album was supposed to sound like. I'm gonna give Christmas Lights a four out of five. That was pretty cool. So if I had to rank all these songs, uh, number one goes to Arabesque, number two goes to Fun, number three goes to Christmas Lights, number four goes to UFO, number five goes to Cartoon Heart, number six is Famous Old Painters, number seven I think is Don Quixote. Number 8 is Love and Lethal Dose, number 9 is Wedding Bells, and number 10 is Goodbye and Goodnight, and number 11 is Luna. Or I think 12, I have no idea, I already lost count. This was, if this album really came out, this was, this, I feel like this was going to be a really good album in my opinion. I'm going to give it a 3.8 out of 5. This whole album that I really am talking about right here is mostly fan made, it's mostly fan made. This was just the most realistic track list there was. I'm going to give it a 3.8 out of 5. This was, this is a pretty good album. In my, it just, this would have been a pretty good album, in my, in my opinion, but, yeah. I, I like it, and I really like it. So, time to move on to Milo Zylo to everyone. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Goodbye.